Hi everyone, it's Fuko. So today I'd like to tell you my exploration to different religious places. So the purpose of the video is to inform the knowledge of some religions for those who haven't had the opportunity to learn about it, even if they are interested in it. And especially Japanese are said to be non-religious and we don't have so much opportunity to visit the religious places or talk to religious people. So if you are interested in religion, but if you are afraid of going to the church or something, I hope this video will help you out. Even if you're not interested in religion, I hope you can enjoy this video. So firstly, I visited Catholic Church uh, in downtown. It's a big cathedral. It was a very beautiful place and that was one of the most famous cathedral in our town, I think. I could experience like the traditional way of church service there. So I want to share my experience in the, the Catholic Church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Communion, also known as the Eucharist, is a Christian sacrament commemorating Jesus Christ's last supper with his disciples. During communion, believers partake in bread and wine, symbolizing Jesus' body and blood, to remember his sacrifice on the cross for humanity's sins. Here in this church, we only take the bread. Okay, then secondly, I... Yo! Shut up. Sorry. Secondly, <laughs> uh, this is the my sound effect team. Never mind. Anyways, I visited uh, the Anglican Chapel. It's actually inside my university, but it's very cool. And because it's very close to my place, I visited there the most. <laughs> My friend is trying to bother me, but guys, never mind. And yeah, the pasta is so nice, and I personally really like that place. But at the same time, I could learn many things in the chapel. So I want to share like how the church service is conducted in that chapel. And the third one is also an Anglican church, but it's bigger than the Huron Chapel because it's a cathedral in downtown, as like the Catholic cathedral that we have watched. Um, it was also a great place, I really liked it. So let's hit the church up.
Se va a divertir. Ah, no, 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 Okay, then I am exploring Islam. I am personally really interested in Islamic culture and I was studying Islam for my religious studies course. So I visited the Islam mosque with my other classmates and the professor and I could spend a great time there. So I want to share that. But before that, let me share about my Ramadan experience. I was trying to practice that and this video is the one I took on my first day of Ramadan. I believe that it is from sunrise to sunset, so I was having food at 5.30 a.m. And my impression the first day was that I was just thirsty. How are you feeling? Tired and hungry. <laughs> Were you not thirsty? Not really. I don't, um, it wasn't as like dramatic as I thought it would be. Uh, like I thought it would be like fainting and like I don't know. <laughs> but still, we're on halfway, so we will see. Oh yeah, and, true. Like, next four hours, right? I'm not sure though. Okay. You know, I think we'll be, be fine. It's gonna be so hard being at home and not just grabbing snacks. Oh like, yeah, that's so true. I wanted to do that this morning when I was studying, and I was like, wait, I can't do that. <laughs> It's better idea to like stay on campus yeah. as much as possible. Stay for a bit, though. And we're excited for the dinner today. Yes. yes. It does make you appreciate food more. <laughs> That's the truth. That's actually one of the purposes, I guess. So, yeah. Okay. And then see you. Oh, thank you. I don't got daddy then kind of Thank you. Mm -hmm. Two spoon. Honey. And four. Can we take a higher up picture? Wow, there's so many Yeah, so soon the imam, the guy who usually leads the prayer, he's gonna come give a little speech, like a sermon, you know, and then after we all pray together. Do we need, oh, we don't need to say anything during the prayer. Well, we. We technically do, like there are things we have to say, but since you're just learning, like, yeah. you're kind of welcome. <laughs> yeah. It's also Arabic, right? Yeah. It's the Quran, right? So he recites it in Arabic. Yeah, I just wrote English translated, but it doesn't work here. But another component about the Quran is you actually have to understand it, so you also can read it in your language. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Happy Ramadan. Yeah, happy Ramadan. Uh, we're happy to be here. We love Foucault. 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm famous. Hi, mom. Hi. <laughs> I only have 36 subscribers, so. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> you have this mini pot, you're going to hit 100 subscribers. Oh, yeah. Well. <laughs> Anyways. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye. The next religion we are going to watch is Sikhism. Sikhism is one of the Indian religions, but it's quite different from Hinduism, which is the most popular religion in India. Hinduism has the many gods, like it's called polytheism, but Sikhism is the monotheism, which means it only believes in one god as like uh, Christianity is um, Judaism. So it's very unique and an interesting idea. I also studied about Sikhism in the religious studies course and I found it really fascinating religion. So I really like it and I could spend amazing time in the temple called the Gurudwara. That's the Sikhism religious place. So yeah, I want to share my experience in the video. The red one? Yeah. So this is like lentil, mm -hmm. this is curd mm -hmm. somewhat, and these are rotis. Rotis. Yeah. So overall, what I found in Canada generally is that people are respecting each other regardless of the religions. So you don't need to accept every belief from other religions or whatever, but you can respect at least. And uh, the attitude that you are trying to understand is very important. And that's one of the way for the world of peace, in my opinion. Okay, so. I think that's all. Thank you.